here we are, week two of my Photoshop tutorials. Just showing simple steps of uh, making cool graphics. And uh, today I'll be showing you how to make this 3D text. And I think it looks amazing to be fair. It's so simple to do as well. And it's a great effect. So first of all you need to go over to a new document. And make whatever size you want. Second of all, cut a text, click it, and then write what you want. I'm writing sure. And then over here on the layers, right click on there, and then rasterize type. Once rasterized, whatever that means, go to edit, transform, oh shit, yeah, edit, transform, and perspective, and it's already done it there. I don't know how that did that. How did it do that? Anyway, that was weird. Once there, hot, go to the layers again, hold Alt, and then on your keypad, where it says left, right, forward, and down, keep clicking left. And what you'll do is that you'll create the thickness of the 3D. And I'm going to have it up to 15. Then, what you need to do, select all the layers apart from the top one. And by doing this, you click this one, hold control, and click these. These selecting all these. Do not select the background either. Once here, all you have to do is click merge layers. Now, to make it, it looks a bit bland, it's black, you can't really see a 3D anywhere yet. Double click the bottom one, go to gradient, and I don't like that gradient, so I'm going to change it to that. And you can create any new gradients if you want. Click OK. You can also add a stroke. I have mine about four, that's it, yeah. And here it looks a bit funny because what you have to do is actually move it to there. Because uh, I think I did something wrong to make it look like that, but it should be like, where is it? Like that. Now it still looks nothing like that at all. So. The top layer, double click that, go on gradient, that looks quite cool, I'm going to leave it like that, and also you can add a stroke as well, and I uh, have four again, okay, now, there you go, that's the 3D, now to add more enhancement you can control these both together, merge them, double click that, and drop a shadow and also if you go on background and gradient again and then pick whatever gradient you want I'm going to pick this one and drag it from here to there there you go you can have a nice background as well so uh, thanks for watching hope this helps I'm going to be uh, doing more simple tutorials and I hope these people learn this and go away I'm going to be doing more simple tutorials on uh, Photoshop, helping people uh, create the graphics they want. And next week I'll be doing something different. So don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.